Album liner notes, social media pages, and artist interviews are littered with references to how recording artists and musicians have been influenced by other artists. But what would happen if a popular artist was at least partially responsible for changing the course of another artist's life? Let's find out! I'm Think So Joe, this is Things You Might Not Know, and today, Merle Haggard gets saved. Country superstar Merle Haggard was born in April 1937 in Oildale, California, amidst the American disaster we collectively know as the Great Depression. As if starting life while poverty levels were at a then all-time high wasn't bad enough, Merle Haggard's life would only get harder from there. In 1946, when Merle was only nine years old, his father, James Francis Haggard, died. James' death was attributed to a brain hemorrhage. Merle has stated that the loss of his father at such a young age had an enormous effect on him growing up and into adulthood. With the death of James, the now widowed Flossie Mae Haggard entered the workforce to support Merle and his elder siblings James and Lillian. His mother being gone all day led to Merle Haggard not having much supervision growing up aside from the bit of help that his siblings could give. At 12 years old, Merle's older brother gifted him his first guitar. Merle taught himself how to play while listening to records from country artists such as Bob Willis and Hank Williams. Needless to say, this was not enough to keep him out of trouble. As his behavior worsened, his mother sent him to a juvenile detention camp for a weekend to get him to start behaving. Kind of like an old school version of the Scared Straight program. Spoiler alert! This did not work. Merle Haggard's behavior got even worse as he transitioned over into criminal acts. By the age of 13, he was stealing and writing bad checks. For those of you under 25, a check is what we used for a funds transfer before Venmo. All of the thievery caught up with Merle in 1950 when he was thrown into juvenile detention for real this time. This didn't last long though, as in 1951, Merle escaped the facility with friend Bob Teague and the two hitchhiked and train hopped their way across California. This arrest to juvie to escape cycle would repeat itself a couple more times for Merle and Bob. During this time, Merle would have his first paying gig as a country singer, earning $5 and free beer for the night, something that local and independent bands in 2021 can still relate to. In 1952, Merle met Lefty Frizzell, one of the biggest country stars at the time, and on one occasion even got the opportunity to perform in front of a full audience before Lefty took the stage. Merle Haggard had not left behind his life of crime, though, as he was arrested for robbing the Bakersfield Roadhouse. After another escape attempt from the local Bakersfield jail, Merle landed himself in San Quentin Prison in 1958. While in San Quentin, Merle continued to get himself into trouble until a chance encounter with a fellow famous inmate, Carol Chessman, started to get him thinking about how to change his life for the better. If you want us to do a video about the saga of Carol Chessman, let us know in the comments. Merle Haggard started working in the prison's textile factory, the most steady job he had worked up to that point in his life, and also received his high school equivalency. An encounter with yet another of country music stars set Merle on the path that he would follow for the rest of his life. During the latter half of the 1950s and well into the 1960s, Johnny Cash played a series of live shows for prison audiences that would eventually culminate in his most popular live albums, Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison in 1968 and Johnny Cash at San Quentin in 1969. Merle was in attendance at one of these live shows in 1959, which led him to decide to pursue country music stardom. He was released from San Quentin Prison on parole in 1960, but before getting his music career going, Merle started digging ditches for his brother's electrical contracting company. So I guess you could say that Merle Haggard literally built his career from the ground up. The country music career of Merle Haggard had many ups and downs from there, which would warrant an entire episode to even begin doing it justice. Haggard was the recipient of many awards throughout his career, including multiple Grammys and inductions into numerous halls of fame. His influence is felt in all facets of country music to this day. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Things You Might Not Know. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. 
You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can see a playlist of things you might not know videos over here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.